Rebuilding a model steam plant part 15. Cleaning and polishing the Stuart 501 boiler which was more difficult than it looks. And I had to have several attempts at it using my polishing spindle first then continuing with Brasso wadding with an added compound. After the boiler started to shine I applied the first coat of paint to the remachined Stuart 10V flywheel. Here I am in the outer part of the workshop at my polishing spindle. You may be wondering why I'm using an old grinding wheel on the polishing buffer. What the grinding wheel does is trues up the polishing buffer, then you can apply some more compound to it and it polishes a lot better. This tip was given to me by a friend of mine who used to work in the electroplating industry and part of his job was to clean up the metal and polish it before it was plated. Most of the polishing spindles that I still use were given to me by this friend many years ago. Which is just as well because a lot of the modern polishing buffers that I bought have been absolute rubbish. When doing jobs like this it's a good idea to wear gloves but I have a point of never wearing gloves in the workshop. Because being a keyboard player I need to know where all ten of my fingers are at any given time. Not wearing gloves when polishing does have its shortcomings because the parts get very hot and I often have to put them down to let them cool before I can continue. I always have a tub of water behind the polishing spindle and this is also close to the brazing hearth for quenching freshly silver soldered components but it's also useful for cooling smaller components that I'm polishing. This copper boiler took quite a long time to polish up and here I'm going to use some tea cut to polish it further. I have to admit that the old Stuart 500 series copper boilers were not made of the best quality copper. Some polish up okay, others don't. But I'm sure with a good application of this tea cut and to apply it I'm using some Brasso wadding, I should eventually be able to get through the oxidisation and the boiler will start to shine. Using an old piece of Brasso wadding is a good idea because it soaks up the tea cut and as you can see by the black residue on the boiler, it's been cleaned very well by the tea cut. There's no easy answer here, it's just elbow grease. And the sad thing about this is, once the boiler is in steam, it will immediately start to tarnish again, with the heat from the gas burner underneath it. That's the way of things, but at least it's going to start off by being shiny. Time now to go into the workshop, which is built onto the house. And it's a good bit warmer in here. What I'm doing is removing the grub screw that holds the newly machined flywheel onto the Stuart 10V. This flywheel is much better since I remachined the centre bosses and tried to true up the spokes and the internal part of the flywheel. Now is a good time to take your medication. Just sit back and relax because it's painting time. There's nothing to narrate about this part. You're just watching me painting a flywheel. So I'm going to play some background music that I've created. This one's called Into the Woods. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.
please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.